the pinnacle of underwater muscle. Nuclear powered attack submarines. Stealthy, fast, limitless endurance. That sinking feeling that the Navy likes. Finally, India cleared to build them. India's nuclear sharks. India and China have just shaken hands to at least try and normalize their disputed border and the big military standoff in eastern Ladakh. But remember, the battle for the Indian Ocean is still very much wide open. And one of the instruments that India has lagged behind China in a huge way in has been nuclear-powered attack submarines. These are described by maritime experts as the true arbiters of sea power. These are submarines that have nearly limitless endurance. They are fast, they are incredibly stealthy and India doesn't have a single one while China has several and is constantly building more. The good news now is that work has begun. The government has finally signed off and sanctioned funds for India to develop and build its first two nuclear Sharks. Take a look. They're the ultimate symbols of underwater muscle. Nuclear powered attack submarines. Let's call them sharks. In the fleets of every major navy in the world, including the United States, Russia, China, France and the UK. With Australia and Brazil soon to get their own as well. But India even with an enormous maritime domain to protect and major threats in the Indian Ocean, doesn't have a fleet of its own nuclear sharks. But now, after years in uncertainty, the government has finally flagged off a homegrown project. Nearly 40,000 crore rupees have now been sanctioned for the development and construction of two Made in India nuclear sharks. These will be the first two of at least six that the Navy hopes to operate. The good news is, India's nuclear submarine building program already has valuable experience. The Indian Navy currently operates two homegrown nuclear-powered submarines, INS Arihant and INS Arikhat. Both are boomers slang for nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, lumbering beasts of the deep that carry long-range nuclear-tipped missiles, only entering the proverbial fight in the event of a nuclear attack on India. If the boomers are akin to bombers, the nuclear sharks now cleared for development are more like fighters, agile, swift and deployed by the Navy for everyday submarine operations. The question obviously arises, how are nuclear-powered attack submarines different from the submarines that India currently operates? The obvious first difference is that while the current submarines operated by the Indian Navy are powered by diesel engines and batteries, the nuclear sharks will be powered by a miniature nuclear reactor. Unlike diesel-electric submarines which are limited by fuel capacity and battery life, Nuclear sharks enjoy virtually unlimited range, only needing to head to a port for food or human supplies. Unlike diesel-electric submarines which are vulnerable and noisy during battery recharge, nuclear sharks can operate quietly for extended periods without surfacing. 
Diesel electric submarines may be able to stay underwater for a few days max, but nuclear sharks can stay submerged for months together if necessary. Nuclear sharks are more expensive to buy, but pay off in all the other ways described above. India's submarine force levels have been critically low for years now, making clearance for the nuclear shark program hugely welcome. But the Indian Navy has operated nuclear sharks in the past, except they were on lease from Russia. The first INS Chakra was a Charlie class submarine that operated from 1987 to 1991. The second, also named INS Chakra, was a Russian Akula class submarine that operated for a decade from 2011 to 2021. The Indian nuclear sharks to be built will be 6,000 ton boats powered by pressure water nuclear reactors and will be armed with torpedoes, anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles. Aimed to be the pinnacle of Indian naval capability with versatility in both offensive and defensive roles, these silent hunters will stalk enemy vessels, including surface ships and submarines, without being detected. If hostilities break out, these submarines will be able to also launch precise strikes on land targets using cruise missiles. This gives them an edge in both naval battles and land attack missions, further enhancing India's combat capabilities. Given China's aggressive nuclear submarine building program and a periodic attempt to push them into the Indian Ocean, only an Indian nuclear shark fleet will put the Indian Navy in a position to meaningfully push back.